Weed of the Week is a biennial, it's Wild Carrot. All right, probably the most important thing here in, in this Weed of the Week segment is that we're dealing with the biennial weed. When you've got a two year life cycle on a weed, well, when is the best time to kill it? In year one or year two? Oftentimes it's year one. If you can catch it in that first year, that's the year that it's taking lots of nutrients in, it's trying to build up its strength, so year two it can produce seed. So when you look at plants, their goal is they want to produce seed. So if you can stop it in year one, great. If it's year two, you better get out there early well, Darren, before it gets too far What along. I'm wondering is why did you let the weed go the whole first year? Get it under control then. But here's why we see it let go the first year is because usually wild carrot shows up in pastures, roadside ditches, fence lines. It's not crop areas where we have the big problem. So immediately I'm thinking about dicamba and 2,4-D. Yes, both of those work fine. Tordon has decent activity and lots of residual. So I'm not that worried about control, but you've got to get out there in that first year so you have the best luck. If you're out there in the second year when the seed head is already formed, well, now you're too late, it's already going to go to seed. If you're in those non-crop areas, do everything you can to encourage excellent grass growth. That means fertility. Yep. That means uh, making sure you have a good thick canopy out there uh, to be able to stop weeds like wild carrot. Well, that's it for our Weed of the Week, but stay tuned, Iron Talk is coming up next.